Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a bit of an unboxing. So I posted on my community that I treated myself to the Naturissimo advent calendar this year. I saw it last year and was kind of intrigued and I decided that I was gonna pick up this year. So I have put myself on a bit of a spending ban with makeup and skincare. Um, and I'm not gonna buy the autumn box that's out because uh, this was over 100 pounds, it was 135. Um, I think you get about 600 pounds worth of goods in here. Um, 14 full sizes and the rest are kind of small sample sizes. Um, but I've really enjoyed the box they brought out and I really wanted to kind of see what it was like um, as an advent calendar. So I did it and I put a little poll up um, asking whether you'd want to see an unboxing video, maybe in case you were interested in getting it as well, or if you want to see me opening it kind of in real time throughout December, or no video at all. And 55% of the vote wanted a whole unboxing video. So that's what I'm going to do in today's video. Quite a nice relaxing video, especially as it's very stormy outside. We've got Storm Ashley here. Um, so yeah, just a cosy little video. Um, so we're going to unbox this today. I'm very excited. Um, and very intrigued to see what's in here and whether it's worth the money or not. Um, so I haven't really done a video like this before with an advent calendar, so let me know if you like the concept and maybe we can carry on with this. But yeah, let's dig into this box. Again. So, now when we say advent calendar, it's not labelled 1 to 25 in here. It's very much just wrapped goodies in a box. So you can pretty much kind of pick or blind pick whichever you want day by day which I think is kind of quite fun as well or you can judge by the shape and go oh I like the shape of that I'll save that for number 25 whatever so I'm gonna have a little I don't have too much of a peek because the paper is slightly see-through but everything's nice and wrapped so I might just go with what's on top and start there so like I said, you could do this in whatever order you wanted to, or you could label them up, but get someone else to label them up for you. It could be quite fun. So, I'm going to actually pop the box on the floor. And I'm just going to go down and grab as and when. So, this is the first one that I've picked up. So, have a little, have a little look. Oh, okay. So, in this box, there's going to be like skincare, makeup, and just kind of... Um, home stuff I think or something along those lines um, so the first thing we've got is from Wild Nutrition it's an energy support so this is for okay so this is food supplements this is 20 capsules it's tiredness and fatigue mental performance thyroid function alpha lipic acid food grown for all I've not really had or tried food supplement before so I'm not really sure about this one and whether there's any issues any allergies or anything like that um, so it says take two capsules per day taken in the morning with or without food do not exceed the recommended intake so it's got a whole list of like the nutrition here like vitamin C's vitamin B6 folic acid vitamin B12 calcium magnesium iron kind of how much is in there per 12 or oh, two capsules um, yeah, I've never taken a to look into this um, a little bit more. I mean, tiredness and fatigue, perfect, because the last couple of months I've been, my energy has been low um, for various reasons. So that might help, but I'm going to have to check any allergies and whether I'm okay to take this. So um, yeah, food supplements, I wasn't expecting that, but intriguing. Number two is a box. I can get into it. So on that Tristamo, it does kind of show the products you would get in here. I tried not to take a look. I know some of the brands we're going to get, which I'm kind of excited for, but, um, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, if you didn't want to know, don't look on the website or when you order it, don't scan, like go through the pictures because you will get a little bit of spoilers, but, um, all right, I mean, if you're watching the video, you're going to get spoilers anyway. Uh, so next up looks quite exciting. So we've got can't pronounce the brand. Um, I'm going to go CV for this, but it has got a name underneath. Um, this is Age to Five Plus. It's a liquid gold tanning drops with green tea and seaweed, phytoscience, 85% organic. So create a youthful, sun kissed glow with a tailor made approach to sunless tanning. Well, that's quite fun. Okay, so yeah, a liquid gold tanning drops. 
I have not tried any tanning drops. Um, I don't think I've tried any tanning drops. I'm not certainly not trying anything with Naturismo. The only kind of thing I've tried is obviously the um, Dr. Hushka bronzing tint, but that's like a, that just you apply on and you take off again at the end of the day. So I'm intrigued, we'll see. I mean, I could do probably a bit of tan heading into winter because um, it gets quite pale out, but let's open up. And this is what this looks like. So that looks like, to me, that looks like it's a full size. That's, I reckon that's one of our full size products there. But I'm intrigued. I will definitely give it a go. Why not? Who doesn't want a little bit of a, a tan throughout the cold winter months? So um, yeah, I'm quite excited by that one. So I'm more excited by that one than the food supplement. Number three, and I can see, I can recognize the brand through the paper with this one. So let's go in, yeah. Dr. Hushka, I could recognize the branding. So we have, oh, it's a limited edition. And you are a smoothing cleansing milk. So a cleanser, makeup remover. It's got quite, um, I can smell it through the packaging, but this is what it looks like. So 30 mil, I'm not sure. I reckon this would be a sample size. Even the sample sizes are pretty decent sizes. I feel like, with the box I've tried, you kind of get enough use out of them to know whether you like a product or not, which I think is really nice. So yeah, a 30 ml of the cleansing milk. I always need cleansers. I go through them the quickest out of all my skincare, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm going with a slightly longer one this time. So this is number four. Oh, makeup. Okay, so this is from a brand I don't recognise. Oh, and I do, Ancient Nature. Um, I got a product in the Summer Skin Box, which I actually haven't got to yet, um, out of my collection, but this is a mascara. This is a growth mascara, Holy Lash. It's a Holy Lash growth mascara. Um, does it say? To me, that me, growth mascara. Sounds like one of those ones that's got a bit like serum in it that helps grow lashes, or it could just be a really volumizing mascara. Doesn't quite stay on the box. Ooh. Very fancy packaging. So nice, that's gonna get fingerprints all over it very quickly. Let's take a quick look at the wand. It's quite, a, oh, I've got too many things in my hand. Quite a nice shape wand. I find like the ones that go like out, in, out work quite nicely for volumizing. So I'm guessing it's a volumizing mascara. Um, when it says growth mascara, it makes me feel like it's something to help grow the lashes as well. I'm actually going to take a quick look at this one and do a bit of research and I'll let you know. And this, I'm just, because I'm looking at it, it's £41. And that is a full size one. So, yeah, a tour one mascara and lash treatment is a high performance formula that creates lump free, clump free length and volume each day while nourishing follicles and supporting healthy lash growth over time. So yeah, so it sounded like it was gonna be something along those lines. So I'm very intrigued to try that. I'm gonna use up all my other mascaras first. I've got quite a few on the go before I dive into that, but so far, so good. So kind of four products, three I'm really happy with, one I could give or take. Um, so far, so good. Another box. Oh, I can recognize the logo through this paper as well. And it's something I've tried already, but I'm not mad about this because I really like this product. So let's see if you can, can you see through the packaging, skin food. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. Well, well elder skin food, rich, intensive skincare for very dry and rough skin. So I like this product. This is a, this is a sample size because I've had the full size and a sample size before. Um, this is a product I like. I like using it kind of more in the evenings to really give that boost of hydration because um, I find it's a bit rich to wear for a day-to-day -day cream but if you've got super dry skin or any patches that are dry this is just a good booster and it works really well this is a very popular product I think and um, I think a very good product to stick in a advent calendar especially in the winter months because that'll be very much needed okay number six we're going for more of a tube it looks like so Let's have a little look. Well, I'm not very good at opening these up because I'm making a right on mess of this. Oh, Madara, I like Madara. 
Um, Time Miracle Botanic Retinol Serum. So 4% retinol a serum. It's a serum. Targets wrinkles, boosts elasticity. Elasticity. Um, so I've got a few retinols in the cupboard which I haven't tried. I haven't really tried retinol myself. Um, so I kind of need to look and see the safe way of applying it. But we've got this. I think this might... Mm, Potentially it could be full size, but I think it's reckoned a sample size, this one. But, yep, yeah, Mandara's nice. I haven't really tried retinols before. I've got a couple in my cupboard ready to go. Um, so we'll just have to see what it's like. But I think a, a nice product. On to number seven. So I feel like we're doing, we've got more skincare than anything else um, so far, which I've got plenty of makeup, so I'm not mad about the skincare portion. Um, Oh, the Organic Pharmacy. So I've tried uh, their sun cream, which I quite liked. Oh, another retinol product. So this is a retinol night serum. Um, so it's boosts collagen and correct pigmentation, smooth fine lines and wrinkles for all skin types. This is what we've got. So it's a 30ml. Um, it's powerfully smoothing corrective serum with lysithin encapsulated retinols, target pigmentation, boost collagen, soften fine lines and wrinkles. Apply one full dropper to face, neck and decolletage every night after cleansing. Again, another uh, retinol product that I haven't really played too much with retinol. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. Obviously I've uh, accidentally picked two retinol products in the row, but that's I guess the beauty of this. You kind of pick and choose as you go. Um, but yeah, a nice, I'd say that's, I'd say that's a full size, you know. I find we like serums, liquids, 30 mils pretty much, I'd say standard full size. Correct me if I'm wrong, I mean I can have a look afterwards, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, again, more skincare, which like I said, I'm not mad at skincare. If you love your skincare, then this is perfect so far. A round one this time, so this is number eight. I have to say, they package these really well, because I'm really struggling to get into some of these. Ooh. Oh, this is a good one. This is always handy. Um, so this is the Fushi cast oil. It's fresh pressed, 100 pure, organic, replenish hair, body and skin. Um, cast oil, I've kind of heard, is really, really good for kind of everywhere. Um, so you, it's multi-purpose. <clears throat> uh, apply a small amount of cast oil to skin, hair, scalp, eyebrows, eyelashes. Leave overnight for optimum results. You can use it as a warm press, a warm compress, sorry. Create a compress by soaking a clean cloth in warm cast oil. Apply to the affected areas, secure with the towel and leave on as directed. Yeah, I've heard, like I said, I've heard very good things about castor in general. And I'm going to want to try and get into that and use that a bit more, like in the hair and stuff. I don't really do too much to my hair and treatments and I feel like it kind of needs it a little bit. Um, so I will start adding this to my hair maybe as well, and possibly the body as well, to get it, um, get it smooth. But yeah, I've heard that castor is meant to be very good just in general product, a very natural product. Um, so let me know if you've used castor oil and how you use it and kind of the results you get from it because I'm intrigued to know. You can definitely see some of the bigger products at the bottom box with the way they stacked it. So I might save those kind of as we get near the end. I think that's what I probably would do if I was opening this in real time. Kind of the bigger products, I'd wait until near the end of the 25 days as like a proper treat. So we'll go with this small bottle here, which I can see the brand. And this is actually a product I knew I was getting in this box. I like, accidentally saw it. So from the brand Pie, this is the Carbon Star. So detoxifying overnight face oil. Uh, oh, it contains nut oil. So use overnight, shake before, shake before use, and massage two to three drops into damp skin until fully absorbed. But this is when I knew I saw it kind of when the box was advertised, so I knew we were gonna I knew we were going to get this, but I was kind of intrigued by the colour and um, yeah, I think this is a sample size. I kind know of Pi do quite big bottles-ish of their products, so the impressions I get from it is probably going to clear out the skin a bit if you've got to kind of uh, suffer from spots, help draw anything out is kind of what I'm feeling might happen with this product. Um, yeah, that was what I knew we were getting and uh, I was kind of intrigued to try it. I haven't really tried a Pi product that I didn't like, I don't think, so I'm happy with that one. On to number 10. So, again, a little squeezy bottle. I recognise, actually, I recognise the branding on this one. Yeah. So this is from Balance Me. I got a face cream in the summer box, and this is a Wonder Eye Cream. 
So uh, our award-winning cooling gel quenches firms and soothes with aloe and hyaluronic acid while also brightening darts, shadows, tap onto cleanse skin under and around the delicate eye area until absorbed. So this is definitely a sample size, so you get seven mil. So you get quite, still quite a few uses out, I say about a week's use out of that. So I'll be enough to determine whether you think you like it or not. Um, but yeah, I had a sample size of the face cream. I thought it worked really nicely. I think if you watch my empties um, shorts I do, I featured it in there and I kind of talked about um, what I rated it and the fact I would repurchase it. So yeah, I'm intrigued to see what the eye cream's like. It's very gentle. Well, the moisturizer is a very gentle product, so I'm hoping that the eye cream will be just the same. Number 11. I can see, I, keep, I need to stop looking at the brands through the uh, packaging because I can see the brand. Uh, Q&A, which I do like. And this is a Collagen Boostum Booster Serum. So I use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from them. So this is a slightly different one. So actually this is the serum version of the day cream I like to use from Q&A. Yeah, so this is the Collagen Boostum Booster Serum from Q&A. Um, so as I said, it's the serum version of the day cream I used to use from them. So it's for anti-aging, collagen boosting, and it's for all skin types. It's got all ticked. So add two to three drops to a daily face cream for an anti-aging boost, or apply to clean skin, clean skin twice weekly for an intensive lift. Oh. Okay. So I think you can add it to your face cream you use daily, but then if you're using a clean skin, just twice a week is my impression I'm getting from that. Um, but yeah, definitely a little sample size. I'm intrigued, I like q and I haven't had any bad products from them. So again, I'm intrigued to use this one. Number 12, another squeezy tube it looks like. So, so yeah, very skin focused so far, very skin focused. Ooh, so this is from a brand called Fakai. Um, apologies if that's wrong. It's a sheer butter, miracle mask, so it's intense moisture, hydration intense. Uh, an, intense frizz, an intense frizz smoothing treatment ideal for thick, dry and or curly hair. So it's a hair mask, which I have thick hair, dry hair. I used to have curly hair before I damaged it in my late teens, but I still very much have the frizz from the curly hair I used to have. So um, that's good. Like I said, I, I need to do a bit more treatment with my hair. So I'm very intrigued to use that. It's 60 mil. Potentially that could be the full size product. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, very intrigued to give this one a go. Oh, smells delightful. Sheer butter always smells really nice. So yeah, excited to give that one a go. Okay, on to my lucky number, 13. We will go, we'll go this one because I can see the branding through it and I like the brand. We'll go with this one and I can see just about through the paper, Kosas. So I want to open this one up. So hopefully this should be makeup, I would assume. Oh, don't be a brow product. Oh, no. No, I saw the, because like, a brown on the top, and I thought, oh, that's a bit risky putting a brow product in here, because A, my brows aren't light enough for that. Um, you don't know, but this is not, this is a hot liner, so it's a hyaluronic acid contouring lip liner. I've actually seen these recently and they look pretty nice. This is in the shade Soft Caramel Brown. Again, still slightly risky when putting a, uh, like a contour lip liner, especially in a neutral shade, because you don't know who is going to pick it up in terms of their skin tone and stuff, but we'll have a little look. So this is what the packaging looks like. So it looks like it's double-ended. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. Ah, uh, okay. Right, so, this end, we have the lip liner, which I'm hoping, yeah, you twist up if you want more. So that's what it looks like. Let's just do a quick. That's the shade. For me, that's a lovely neutral shade. Um, like I said, slightly risky when it comes to neutral browns in particular in terms of who is going to pick it up. But then on the other end, oh, and there is a sharpener. Okay, hang on. So you take off the top lid and there is a little brush. I'm guessing you can 
yep, smudge that out, and then if I put it off there, that is a little sharpener. So a little three in one product there. Um, so yeah, very much for contouring the lips. It's a nice color, like for me that actually would work probably quite nicely as a lip liner shade for me. So I'm very excited to try that one out. Like I said, I could see the brand through it, so I wanted to pick it up. And it's nice to have another bit of makeup in this collection. Number 14, a small round little pot here. Oh, I think it's another makeup. So it's from the brand Rouge Francais, which I had, I've still got their lip oil from the summer skin kit, um, which I kind of use here and there. It's not my favorite lip oil, because it doesn't like, I like ones that last and keep that shine where it doesn't, it sinks in quite quickly. It makes the lips feel really smooth, but I just like the gloss to stay a little bit longer. But this is a blush, it's a cream blush in the shade Zenaby 230. And this makes me very happy because I love cream brushes. And it's a very pretty little pink shade there. Um, so I'm happy we've got another, another makeup product in here. Oh, it's very, um, very gel-like. It's a very soft pink. Kind of the texture actually reminds me of the RMS um, blusher that I've got, the lip to cheek tint. Sorry, the lip to cheek tint. Very nice. Yeah, very gel like. I think that'd be lovely. But yeah, very happy we've got another little um, makeup product. I think this would be, I reckon that's probably full size. That's kind of how a cream product, usually the amount you get in there, it's what uh, doesn't stay how much is in there. But I reckon, oh no. No, it doesn't. But I reckon that would be a full size kind of cream product. You don't need to do too much because they tend to be quite well pigmented. But I'm very excited to give that one a play with. Number 15, we're going for a little box. Let's open this up. Oh. So this is from Evolve. I've tried a few of their masks before and it's really lovely. So Evolve Organic Beauty. This is a hyaluronic eye complex. So a hydrating gel with active botanical cells and hyaluronic acid. So I feel like it's obviously something with the eyes. A hydrating eye gel with three in one action and treatment rollable. Hyaluronic acid plumps up fine lines whilst tuberose plant cells reduce the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. I like Evolve in their simple packaging. It's very nice and actually, I'm pretty sure most of this packaging is recyclable because I know Naturist mode kind of takes that into, con uh, takes that into consideration when picking their products. But yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, like, it's a little, it's a little rollable, which I think Actually, the sensation of rollable under the eyes just helps. It just feels really nice. So uh, I'm intrigued to give that one a go. So a couple of eye products, which is nice. Um, that'd be, I imagine it'd be nice if you stick it in the fridge and then roll it underneath your eyes, especially if you've got like super tired one day, you wake up and you just need that bit of depuffing. Pop that in the fridge overnight. And I think that'd be lovely. Like I said, apart from that food supplement, I'm not actually disappointed with any products. I'm not saying I'm disappointed with the food supplements, it's just I don't really tend to, like I take vitamin D, um, but I don't like take loads of food supplements or anything like that, so I don't know, I'm intrigued, we'll see. Number 16, and we're gonna go in another tube. I can't see the brand for this one, so I don't, I don't know. Do you know, I'd love to create my own little thing like this, just create like a little, a little box of my favorite products and send them to you guys. I think they're quite fun. Oh, Inica. I like Inica. So Inica, oh, another lip lip product. So Inica Organic Lip Crayon in Tan Nude. So it's got coconut oil, candelia, wax, vitamin E. Treat your lips to a healthy dose of color and hydration with a certified organic coconut oil, carnauba, wax, and vitamin E infused lip crayon. The smooth, richly pigmented texture provides a long-lasting lash pout. So another kind of actually nude. I think they keep it quite safe with the shades. But I mean, they are very wearable. They will get a lot of use out, so I'm not mad. Ooh, it's a bit of a thicker, a thicker product this time. Uh, do you know what? I quite like these though, because they just make it so much easier. Like the Era Perez one I've got, I really like that one. Ooh. It's quite a similar shade, I'd say, to the Kosas one. Maybe ever so slightly darker. 
Um, but that one I know will get a lot of use out of, and I like a lip crayon. Um, they tend to kind of, you can kind of really go around the lips and then go on the side and really coat the lips, and it makes it easy. And actually, they're quite travel friendly then as well. So, that is a product I'm very happy to receive. I want to say number 17, so we'll go with number 17. Um, I'm kind of losing track because they're not numbered. From the brand Ren, I like Ren. So this is their Evercalm Redness Relief Serum. So what do you do? A velvet touch soothing serum to calm and relieve discomfort in irritated and sensitive prone and sensitive skin prone to redness. Strengthen skin's moisturizer barrier to help protect against environmental aggressors. So results, redness appears reduced, skin feels calmed and soothed and is better protected against pollution damage. So skin type is for sensitive, reactive or redness prone skin and to use AM and PM, gently press with fingertips into cleanse skin, reapply as needed. Well, I definitely get redness prone skin and it can be a little bit sensitive, so this will work quite nicely for me. So yeah, the REN serum. And um, I'll try the cleanser. It's quite good as a second cleanser, not so much as a makeup remover, but still it was nice. Ooh. And that is what the packaging looks like. Oh, it says on the back, recyclable glass bottle. Well, that is always good. So yeah, a nice little product. I'm gonna have fun putting these in my cupboard later. Okay, so we're getting to some of the, there's a few small ones left, but we're getting to some of the big ones. So we'll carry on the small ones. So number 18, oh, I saw the brand. I actually knew this brand was gonna be in here and I'm excited for this product. So this is RMS Beauty and it's a living luminizer. Um, so, so application, highlight, cheekbones, bridge your nose, inner corners, center of lid and cupid's bow for a dewy finish. For the ultimate glow, our Cult Hero Living Luminizer provides a luminous, dewy, light reflecting finish. Yeah, I was excited. I knew this was coming in this and I was excited to, uh, to play with it. So, Aramis Beauty, I like the packaging. I like their kind of um, clouded bottle, frosted glass. So this is what we are looking like. I imagine, yeah, very similar texture to their, oh. Now, is that the finger I use for blushes? So we use another finger. Yeah. So quite a gel-like consistency. That's very much a like clear highlighter. I popped it there. I have. It more gives what I'd say like a wet finish. That kind of feel. Have I tried this before? No, I don't think so. Um, it feels very familiar. It could be the blusher I've used. But yeah, it gives like that very wet looking finish on the skin, which I think would be very pretty. I think it'll suit, because it hasn't got any color to it, it any skin tone will be able to suit this and just give it a nice kind of wet finish to wherever you want to pop it. Um, I'm really enjoying RMS at the moment, so I'm really happy to pick, have this. Number 19. Oh, we're getting there, we are getting there brand that I don't, haven't tried yet. That's always exciting. Oh, nail related this time, if I can get it out. Again, I might pronounce this wrong, Huli Verti, Verti. Um, it seems to be a French brand, so I probably really butchered that. Um, but it's for dry new cuticles, nourish and repair, so it's a nail and cuticle oil. Um, which I think is really nice. With active ingredients across a blend of six oils, this ultra rich treatment protects, uh, promotes regrowth, regenerating cuticles and dry nails. Um, it's ideal to finish off. So it's like a, once you've done your nails, you kind of put it on afterwards by the sounds of this. Or you can use on bare nails or on top of nails that are already um, painted. So that's what the packaging looks like. And like I said, I've probably really butchered that name. Um, I like the package, I like the bottle. And that's what it looks like. I'd imagine that's probably a full size actually, because cuticle oils tend to not be too big a bottle because you don't need too much at a time. So I'm happy, I like to paint my nails when I can, so that'll be good. On to number 20. Antipods, 
I like antipods. I'm actually I'm almost close to finishing up their night cream, which I really, really enjoyed, so I need to pick up another one. And this is Antipod Vanilla Pod Hydrating Day Cream with Manuka Honey and Rose Hip Oil. So a nice little day cream. So a light textured but intensive facial day cream for luxurious everyday moisturizing, moisturization. Discover botanicals, extracts from pure New Zealand nature, revolutionary Bonanza, Bonanza grape from Marlboro grape seeds, high in polyphenolic. <sighs> give me words to see if I can pronounce. Antioxidants helps your skin appear fresh and energized. Wild sourced New Zealand manuka honey helps keep skin clear and blemish free, while rosehip oil contains essential fatty acids to help reduce the appearance of scars and wrinkles with pure plant fragrance of vanilla pod and mandarin. Skin type is for most, especially dry, patch chest first. So yeah, a nice little day cream. That's, that's what the box itself looks like. I think this looks like it's going to be a full size one. I've just, ooh, I've just ripped my way into that box. That's fine. And that's what it looks like inside. Oh, it does smell very nice. But not heavily scented, which I think is a very good thing. So yeah, that is a nice little day moisturiser. To the five products, and these definitely look to be full size. So we're going to go with this one first. So number 21. Now, funny enough, so we've got here, um, again, a brand, a brand I'm going to butcher, so I'm going to let you read it. Um, and this is a Curls Defined, Redefined Intensive Moisture Treatment. Now, I got a sample version of this in the Summer Skin box, which I haven't actually tried yet on my hair. So I'll try the sample first, see if I like it before I crack this one open. If I don't, I'll let you guys know, and maybe if one of you likes this product, you can... You can have it, but I'll try the sample first. Um, but this ear... Is it going to give me any kind of what it does for your hair? No, it just says intensive moisture treatment. It tells you how to use it. So apply to clean wet hair and detangle. Leave on for 20-30 minutes. Add heat for an extra deep treat. Rinse well. Can be used as a leave-in. So yeah. I still need to try the sample size yet, so I won't open that one just yet. See how I feel about it and uh I'll report back. I'm going to go with this one for number 22. So a nice big bottle, squeezy bottle. Ooh, I like the look of this. So this is from Aromatherapy Associates and it's the De-Stress Muscle Gel, focusing and soothing. So experience the warming, easing powers of rosemary, black pepper, lavender and ginger helping to soothe and recover. So massage directly into any problem areas. Ooh, so basically like a massage gel, which I'm not mad at at all. So yeah, nice, that's definitely full size. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. Mm. I am very excited for this product. There's a weird shaped one down there, which I'm going to leave last. So we're going to go on to this one, number 22. I can see the brand through this. So I'm currently actually using one of this brand's products. And I really, really like it. So, Ooh. Okay, so this is Innocence. So this is a hair brand. And it's I Create Volume. It's a volumizing lotion for body and fullness. So it's for the hair. So enhance volume roots to ends with this medium hold styling lotion. Our fullness, manageability, expansion and shine with certified organic honey and aloe vera, rice amino acids and eucalyptus, ideal for all hair types and texture. So I've currently got the sample size of their leave-in conditioner, which I really enjoy using at the moment. Um, so I'm very excited to use this. Maybe I can style my hair a bit better now, um, add a bit of volume to it. So I'm very happy with that product indeed. Number 24, we've got a box. Oh, I know that brand. So this is from Trilogy. It's the Ultra Hydrating Face Cream. Um, so it's got for dry and dehydrated skin, 2% New Zealand Manuka Honey and Antioxidant Rose, 
rich rosapine. So quench thirsting skin with rosapine, our unique rose hip with super antioxidant complex to maintain skin integrity. Evening primrose and coconut oils nourish and hydrate. Vitamin rich manuka honey softens while a gentle lavender fragrance soothes. This moisture recovery cream easily absorbs to smooth, providing immediate relief and lasting comfort. So this is what the box looks like. So I've got the Trilogy um, Hydrating Serum sat in my cupboard that I haven't tried yet. But this is what the tube looks like. I like the colour of that. Um, but yeah, very happy to try that. I like a face cream, a nice hydrating face cream. So a lot of the stuff actually, Manuka honey is cropped up quite a bit in some of these ingredients. So yeah. I am liking that. And then we're on to the final product in here. Number 25. And it's not quite a circle. It kind of feels more like a... a I can't think what the shape's called. I'll open that. Um, but yeah, I'm intrigued. Oh! That's cute. So that could, you could put that on a tree if you wanted to. And then open that up last. And I'm glad I opened that last, because it looks the most festive. It's from Brown Up Circle. I really enjoyed their face serums. So this is under the mistletoe. Open me here. Okay, I shall. Okay. Ooh, okay. So this is the Up Circle Lip Balm with upcycled hemp seed oil and sheer butter. Um, I do enjoy a lip balm. I really enjoy their serums. It was super hydrating, so I can imagine this would be really great for the lips, especially into the colder months we're going into. Um, so yeah. And again, I think that must be a full size. But that's quite fun that they put it into a little, a little bauble um, to make it a bit festive. So I'm glad I picked that one up last. Um, but yeah. Just a nice little lip balm. Let's actually open it up, shall we? It's kind of, oh, that feels nice. That's the kind of texture, if you can kind of see it. It's a nice cream, a hard cream, more balmy as it suggests. But yeah, that is the final product in this box. So that is all 25 products in this box. I think there is a lot here and here to enjoy. It is mainly skincare, I'll be honest. There's a few makeup products thrown in there, then a nail product, some hair products. Um, but if you love your skincare, then this is going to be right up your street. Um, I'm very excited to kind of play with some of these. Like I said, the only one that just doesn't really appeal to me is the food supplements. Um, like I said, I take vitamin D, but I'm not like really into my food supplements and like what can I take, what can I make better. Um, but let me know if you've tried them and if it's something I should be getting more into, I don't know. But the rest of the products, I'm very excited to try them. I'm not disappointed, I don't think, with any of the ones. I think the full-size ones are great. Even the sample ones, I feel like you get like plenty of product in there um, to kind of read, test out and see if you like the products. So that was £135 for that. And I think it was just under £600 worth in total. Um, 14 full sizes. It's so over half of them full size. And like I said, even the sample sizes, I feel like you get enough product to kind of test them out and um, play with them. So I'm really looking forward to playing with these products, um, both skincare and makeup, and some kind of different products in there as well. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Do you think this calendar is worth it? I personally do. If you're not really a big skin person or skin lover, then probably not, because like I said, there's not too much of anything else. There's a bit of makeup, a little bit of hair, a bit of nail, but it's mainly skin focused, which I feel like Naturissimo is predominantly skin focused anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play with these. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know, yeah, like I say, your thoughts on some of these products. Have you tried any of them? Were they really good? Uh, is, does this make you want to maybe pick up the box? Or do you think, like I said, do you think it's worth the money? I think it is. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to give stuff a play. If there's anything you want to kind of see, I mean, some of the skincare I'm kind of uh, trying to use up some that I've currently got, but things like the tanning drops, obviously the makeup products I can play with, the mascara, um, some hair products I can get playing with now. Um, but let me know if you want to like hear some more stuff or I can do reviews on stuff, let me know. But I really hope you enjoy this video. 
Um, I know it's a bit early to be uh, talking about Christmas, but I know this advent calendar sells out quite quickly. So if you were interested, I wanted to get up as soon as possible um, to maybe help with that decision. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any requests for videos down below and I'll see you all in my next one. Thank you for watching.